Assalamu alaikum, my name is Naim Raza and welcome to Street Challenge. We're back for our third series and this time round we're going all over the UK to find out what the public actually know about Islam and Muslims. Where are we today? Well, let me tell you by popular demand we are in your city and this city is known as the city of a thousand trades. Also in 2012, during the 2012 London Olympics, the Jamaican and US track and field teams actually trained here. If that's not enough, let me give you my favorite clue. It is the home of Cadbury's chocolate, yummy. Yes, we are indeed in Birmingham. Let the challenge begin. What's your name, sir? Marion. Malcolm. My name's Matt. Doreen Brown. Michael. My name's Byron. Brian Phillips. Craig. Sandra Phillips. Owen. Chris. My name's Kai. And my name's Michael. And where are you from? From Redditch. Wales. From Mosley. I'm from Birmingham. Sort of Garfield, Birmingham. Birmingham. And what do you do for a living? I'm a registered nurse. Uh, I'm a street fundraiser. I'm retired. I work with one-to-one -one students. School. I'm a homeless support officer. We run a social media company, i7 Media. I used to be working in IT. I retired. What I do, I work on the High Street for Opportunity Networks. What does the word Muslim mean? Does it mean someone who submits their will to God? Is it someone who comes from the Asian or African continents? Is it someone who submits their will to the Prophet Muhammad? Or is it all of the above? The Prophet Muhammad, isn't it? I'll go for all of the above. Someone who submits themselves to the Prophet Muhammad. I'd say C. And yeah, I'd go with that Muhammad. one. Muhammad, well. yeah. It's a religion, so it'd be the God. Mohammed? Yeah. Mm, I think so, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Submit to a god, wouldn't you? Okay. All of the above. I would have gone for the A, to be honest with you. The first one? I'd probably say all of the above. I'd say it's probably all of the above, in all fairness, although probably not B, more so A and C. I think it's A? I would say to Mohammed. To Mohammed? Uh, yeah. Quite sure about that? Yeah. Pretty sure. Quite happy with that? Yeah. Any reason why you say that? Well, the, the second one, a Muslim could be from anywhere, can't they? So it's definitely not that. And the first one, I suppose, it could be either A or C, but I'd, I'd go with C because you, you associate Muhammad with Muslims. So. Well, um, that's what Islam is all about, God, you know? Because um, obviously a Muslim is like a religion, isn't it? So obviously they just devote themselves to God. Yeah, quite sure about that? Yes, yes. You are a clever student, by yeah, the way. Uh, no. Well done. That is the right answer. Indeed, it's submitting to God. It is actually someone who submits their will to God. Muhammad is a prophet. He's just a man like... Yeah. Oh, but God. It's God. It's God. Not Muhammad. Good answer. It is indeed right. Well done. Brilliant. All oh, right. Well, thank you. It is submission to God. Muslims can come from anywhere. And Muhammad was the prophet. All of the above? Yeah. Wrong answer. A is actually the right answer. Good man. That's right. Well yeah, cool. How is it? Oh. Iswa comes from the word Sawam, which means peace. It means peace and submission to the will of Awa. A person that submits to Awa's will is called a Muslim. Question number two. Muslims believe that the world will end exactly when? Is it they don't know when it will end, only God knows? Is it when there is no more poverty? Is it in three years time or is it the world will never end? Maybe, I uh, can see. I would say that we don't know. See, in three That's years wrong. time? No, not see, no, sorry, sorry, the last one. I'd say A. I'd say only God knows. I'm not sure really. I, I, I think, uh, I probably think it will never end. Well, everything ends at one point. After Greer. Uh, I agree with that? I don't have any reasonable logic. I guess I think I'll give for A too. I don't think there's a set date at all. Okay. I don't think they'll know when the world would end. Oh, I'd like to go with A. <laughs> yeah, I'd yeah, say A. Yeah. <laughs> God will come when he's ready. We don't know. I'd say uh, they don't know. I'd say they don't know. I'd say it was uh, the first one and the last one. God will, it's only God above that we will know. No one will ever know when it's going to end or finish, only the Lord above. I'd, I'd say A. I'd say that they don't, they, they, they know it's coming but they don't know when. Do you know that for a reason or just a guess? 
Just a guess, really. <laughs> Only God knows. It is the right guess. We don't know when it will end. Only God knows. No, no, nobody knows, do they? So there is an ending, but we don't know when. Oh, well, it was going to get cut on the first one. Oh, no, yes. That's the right answer. Yes. Two out of two at the moment. Superb. What does the word jihad mean? Is it holy war? Is it struggle against oneself? Is it suicide killing? Or is it killing of non-Muslims? It's a holy war. Probably A or C. I'm pretty sure it's A. It sounds nasty, so I reckon the last one. A. Holy war, yeah. Holy war. Yeah. Killing of, no, of non-Muslims? Killing of non-Muslims. Yeah. I think it means holy war. Holy war, I think. Uh, yeah. To be honest with you, I don't think it's any of those. My interpretation is about protecting them, the, the Islam. I don't have a clue on this one. Well, I'll probably go with A, if anything. Holy War. Mm. Holy War. For me, it's, it's about them defending themselves, not necessarily being the aggressors. Quite confident with that one? Yes. Have you read that somewhere? I've heard that somewhere. Well, yes, it's been in the news for the last 20 or 30 years, occasionally. Yes, yeah. No, but that's what I'd, I understand, yeah. I've, I've, I've got Muslim friends. And oh, I have had Muslim friends like throughout my life, um, so I'm, I think that's it. Is actually struggling against oneself. Oh, does it? Oh, okay. Okay. Is it? There you go. Didn't know that. Really? really? You're not allowed to kill anyone innocently. There you go. That's what the media. The media Whether it's is academically, telling it's mentally, physically, spiritually, getting up in the morning to pray. It's a good answer. It is. It's very similar. It's about struggling against oneself. So oh, is it? All right. Protecting your religion. You could be protecting your family, protecting your job. So you're struggling then against your compulsion to hurt someone. Yeah. You have to. Oh, okay. Okay. I must have been listening too hard. <laughs> it doesn't mean that at all. Okay. It means to exert against oneself, one's desires. In Islam, it is a woman's duty to cook, true or false? I think it's probably true. I don't know much. True. I hope, but Islam, that it's not. <laughs> my, my wife wouldn't be too happy about it. <laughs> I hope it's false. No, I say false. I don't know, but I'm going to guess. It, it, it's false. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I would say false. I would say it, it's a tradition more than part of the religion. Well, I heard it was a man's duty to go to work and a woman's duty to stay home with the children. So... Say false. I, I'm going to say no, it wouldn't be that clear cut. I would say true. Why? Because men do it as well as the women. The reason for that is that, you know, there are lots of um, establishments, you know, that, that, you know, so Indian takeaways restaurants that the men do too, I'm guessing. So that would be my reason for, for saying that. And I would say that men being men, they're going to have that expectation. So they're probably ready to say that it is the responsibility of the woman. It's actually false. Oh, really? Yeah, it is false. It, it, there's no defined role. There is no duty assigned to women in Islam. Yeah, exactly. As a matter of fact, the Prophet Muhammad used to cook and clean around his own house. But I think, ge generally speaking, people I know, I think that's usually the woman that cooks. Yeah, that's yeah. More, it's more of a cultural issue probably, I, than a religious yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah, fair play. There's no defined role for women in Islam, as in cooking and cleaning. Islamically, there is no duty for the women to cook. That's right. Uh -huh. It's meant uh -huh. to be shared. Shared. Well, yeah. What are Muslim men not allowed to wear? Is it anything short-sleeved? Is it anything made of silk, expensive clothing, or is it leopard print clothing? Leopard print, I think. Leopard print. Leopard print? Mm, is it leopard? Leopard print. Leopards, yes. Anything short sleeved, I would think. Ooh, that leopard print's a bit of a wild card, one, isn't it? Um, Never seen a man in leopard print. Clothing. I'm gonna go with leopard print. Okay, I'm gonna say silk. Um, short sleeve. That's an interesting one. I don't know. I'll go with leopard print. Seems a bit out there. That out there that it's got to be true. <laughs> no, I'd say none of them. I've really no idea. I didn't know they were forbidden to wear anything. You know, there's anything in particular that they were forbidden to wear. I would say it would be expensive clothing. I go on, I'll say short sleeve, but that is purely a guess. Why do you say that? Because I think animals are sacred. But I'm not sure why. I think it's just a bit of, that's a, bit of a guess. So I'd say leopard print was more African, and uh, short sleeve, they normally got the um, the suit on. 
and then majority of them are long sleeves. So I say short sleeves. Because it's of an animal? Uh, mainly because the thing of question that I have with Islam is that it's about being humble and being... It's actually anything made of silk. It is silk. Right? We're talking about raw silk here. Okay. I said oh, you raw surprised silk. Me. You know the, oh, the yeah. proper silk. See? <laughs> yeah, you're teaching me something today. Raw silk and gold men are not allowed to wear. Raw silk or gold. I'd advise them not to wear yeah. leopard skin either. <laughs> <laughs> and I think my dust will call okay. Oh okay. Okay. Really? Like raw silk, as in the, the original silk. In Islam, who after God and the Prophet Muhammad are the most revered? Is it the mother, the father, the brother, or Imam? <laughs> it's either the mother or the Imam, I would say. I'd say of the mother or the Imam. Mother. The mother. Uh, uh, the mother. The imam. The mother. Got no idea. B. So That's parents tough. would be equal. Is it the mother? Yeah, so you couldn't choose between the two parents, so you'd have to go between brother. I'd, okay, I'd say the imam. Probably the imam. I would say the brother, so the same as you. I have to agree, I don't know. <laughs> the father. Any reason why you say imam? Well, because it's part of their religion, isn't it? Why do you say father? Because he's the, like, the elder of the, of the family. Why do you say the mother? Uh, she rules the roost. Because all life comes to the mother. Just because she's the bearer of the children. The Lord gave the life to the mother and the mother Good gave the life that to the That is the right answer, yes sir. Mother, but that's like equal. I... Mother three times more than the father. Then the brother, then the imam. That's the one. It is the mum. Yeah, it is mother. Okay, I didn't know that. In the Hadith it says, A man came to the Prophet and said, O Messenger of God, who among the people is most worthy of my good companionship? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Your mother. The man said, Then who? The Prophet said, Then your mother. The man further asked, Then who? The Prophet said, Then your mother. The man asked again, Then who? The Prophet said, Then your father. Women are not allowed to vote in Islam. True or false? Is it true? I believe it's true in, in a certain Isla Islamic states. Mm -hmm. well, whether it's true or all, I don't know. False, I'd say. I would say false. I'm going to say it's true again. I'd say that's true. I'd say that's probably true. What would you vote for in, in the religion, though? I'd say that was false. I'd say false. I'd say false. False? Okay. Women should be allowed to vote. False. False. No, I'd go with false as well. So they are allowed to vote? Mm, I think so. I, th I think so, yeah. Any reason why? Just because I think that, although the female is kind of sacred in the religion, I think the, the male is the one that takes the, the control, if you like. I didn't realise that there was actually voting going on back in the days of the Quran being written. So, um, and as far as I'm aware, Islam is all about equality, so I would say that, yeah, they should be. It is false. Women are allowed to vote in Islam, and women had the right to vote in Islam 1400 years ago. Okay. <laughs> so that is the right answer, sir. They are allowed to vote. Muslims believe that after death, they are reincarnated. True or false? True. I agree with that. True. I think that's true. I think that's true. I think that's that's a it's a Buddhist philosophy, isn't it? I thought. Uh, false. I think that's I think that's false. I think. Yeah. They, so I'm going to say I false. I believe we are reincarnated. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's false. Yeah. I'm Any reason why? Probably. You no. They go to a, a better place. False. False. Yeah, I'd go with false as well. Definitely false. false. Any reason why you're pretty sure? Everyone, everyone's got a second, a second chance of life somewhere else. I believe that they, Muslims, along with Christians, believe they'll go to heaven or to be with their God, to be reincarnated. I'm not so sure. 
What, do you want to come back here? <laughs> <laughs> because that's a different religion where you believe in reincarnation. I, again, I don't have a, ma a massive reason for that. I just think that it probably will be true. It is the right answer. We don't believe in reincarnation. We do believe in the resurrection, as in the yeah. you'll be resurrected on the day of judgment. It is false. Okay. It is false. You are not reincarnated. We're actually resurrected on the day of judgment. You are right. They do go to a better place. Uh, there's no reincarnation. Good answer. Well done. That is the right answer, sir. It is false. Is it? No, right. they're not reincarnated. Rubbish. They're resurrected <laughs> from the dead. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. Muslims believe in resurrection of the person, opposed to the reincarnation of a person. Allah states in the Quran, everyone shall taste death, then unto us you shall be returned. Muslims believe in the day of judgment, where Allah, God, will restore human beings and other creation to life to be judged for their actions. They will not, however, take on a new form or a new creation. Those who believed in Allah and obeyed him will find eternal bliss, and those who do not will be punished by Allah, according to a term determined by him. Well, sadly, we come to the end of another exciting episode of Street Challenge from Birmingham. Now, people were quite friendly. They actually knew quite a lot, but there was one trend that managed to form over the day, and that was the aspect of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his relationship with God. So the aspect of Tahid is something that we need to do a little bit more work on. In the meantime, please do keep in touch with us on Facebook, on Twitter, and of course, by email from myself, Naim Raza, everybody else at Street Challenge from Birmingham. Assalamu alaikum. Well, sadly, we come to the end of another exciting episode of Street Challenge from Birmingham. Well, what can we say about Birmingham? Actually, people know Kyot a lot, but there was one thing that was... No, let's start again. Well, sadly, we come to the end of another exciting episode of Street Challenge from Birmingham. Now, what did people of Birmingham know? Actually, not too bad at all, but there was one trend that I managed to see across all 10. Are you ready for your final question? Women are not allowed to vote in Islam. Is that true or false, sir? You can think about it. It is the right answer. Well done. We've got a wee prize for you. It's a wee medal for you. It's not an ordinary medal now. They actually have a USB stick that pulls out to become a copy of the Quran. Just put your hand in there. And put your dip in there. And we'll give you a parting gift as you go along to your work. Lovely. And let me give you a card that you can take away. Have a lovely day. I'll keep you going for the day.